What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, we got some breaking news and some interesting information as Showtime, Showtime President of Sports, Steven Espinosa, and Showtime, the platform, has released their upcoming schedule from starting from this Saturday, March 4th, all the way up until June 24th, okay? And um, on this schedule is obviously a big, uh, a big deal missing from it, okay? A big fight and a big fighter is missing from this fight schedule, and that's undefeated, unified, three-belt, WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl the True Spence Jr., who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, with a record of 28 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 32 years of age, five for nine and a half, with a 72-inch arm reach, as he's been reported and rumored to possibly face off against former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, that being none other than Keith one-time Thurman, okay? Uh, Keith Thurman is 30 wins, one loss, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 32 years of age, 33 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 69 inch arm reach. Keith Thurman, Errol Spence have been rumored to possibly face off May 27th. Um, also, uh, there was talks that they could fight in June. Then reports surfaced that Errol Spence could be back in negotiations for the biggest fight, the most highly anticipated fight in showdown, the welterweight undisputed for premacy, uh, supremacy against Errol Spence and undefeated three-division world champion, superstar boxer Terrence Bud Crawford. Well, Showtime has announced their schedule. Now, Earl Spence, he suffered a car accident, a second or a third car accident, December 10th. Um, he got into uh, a fender bender where, well, a car accident where somebody hit him head on uh, in his Bentley. And um, this was back in December, and he was set to announce his ring return for a February showdown. And now that has been postponed. But we see Earl Spence is back in the gym, back training. Um, but this, this fight card... It don't feature Errol Spence, okay? Uh, it features Saturday, March 4th, Brandon Figueroa versus Mark Maceo. They'll headline a card that's going to see uh, Swift Jarrett Hurd against Armando Resendez uh, also on the card. Then March 11th, uh, next Saturday, you have Tim Zhu and Tony Harrison. Then March 25th, you have the big one, David Benavidez versus Cable Plant with a, a stacked undercard, Hazels Ramos Jr. versus Joey Spencer. Chris Colbert versus uh, Jose Venezuela and Cody Crowley versus Abel Ramos. Then April 7th is Showbox. Okay, uh, that's Saturday, April 7th, New Generation. Then April 8th, well, uh, April 7th is a Friday. Then April 8th is a Saturday. It's going to feature Sebastian Fundora back in the ring versus Brian Mendoza. Brandon Lee will be on there versus Camper. And Luis Nunez will face off against Christian Olivio, right? Then April 22nd, you have Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia fight. And May 13th, uh, Albert Poole versus Roly Romero, Gary Anton Russell versus Kent Cruz, and uh, Rancis Bartholomew versus Omar Juarez. Then June 9th, you have another Showbox card. Uh, then June 24th, Carlos Adamus versus uh, Julian J. Rock Williams, Erickson and Hamaluma versus Luis Aries, Fernando Martinez versus J. Uh, Bornea. Right. So obviously missing from that card is Errol Spence Jr. Now, again, I was told that Errol Spence and uh, Keith Thurman could do business um, May 27th. OK, so this still is open for May 27th return. Uh, if this fight is going to take place, it's going to be a big fight. You know, uh, May 13th, the only card they have, only date they have set is May 13th in the month of May. Uh, obviously, we know um, Canelo Alvarez, he fights Cinco de Mayo weekend, which is going to fall on May 6th this year. So we're going to see Canelo Alvarez versus, um, you know, um, uh, looks like John Ryder, May 6th, Cinco de Mayo weekend. And then, uh, you know, um, May 13th is this card, Albert Pujol versus Roly Romero. Uh, that's going to be on free TV. So then maybe we still get Errol Spence. Uh, Keith Thurman, May 27th, right? Uh, now, I don't know what's the holdup with the announcement, but Errol Spence has been out the ring since April 16th um, of 2022 when he took on defeated 
uh, Yodanis Ugas, okay? Uh, since then, you know, he's been in negotiations with Terrence Crawford. Then it was talks he's in negotiations with Keith Thurman. One thing's for certain, Errol Spence has been out the ring and been inactive for an extremely long time. Since suffering that car accident, October 2019, Errol Spence has fought a total of two times since then, okay? Uh, so you're talking about four-year span since October 2019 to today, you know, um, it's uh, March of 2023. So he's he's fought, he has suffered that horrific car accident that saw him out the ring for 14 months. He came back, he fought against uh, Danny Swift Garcia. He beat him December 5th of 2020. Uh, then he was scheduled to come back. We had the pandemic, the global pandemic. Um, then he was scheduled to come back, uh, um, August 21st of 2021 against Manny Pacquiao. Then he suffered a broken or detached retina eye injury that saw him, uh, pull from that fight. And he was out the ring from that point in time until all the way up until April of 2022 when he fought, uh, your Danis Ugas. And now, he suffered that car accident in December 10th, but Errol Spence, once again, is inactive. I don't know how severe his injuries was after the car accident. Uh, he stated he was okay. We see him back in training. We know Errol Spence is not um, overly uh, interested in fighting Keith Thurman. Uh, we know he wants to fight, you know, Terrence Crawford for Undisputed, but we don't know what's the massive holdup, okay? Um, you think about it, you know, uh, there's no reason that we, we're not getting an announcement. So Showtime releases their card, their fight schedule uh, for the next uh, few months, you know, March, April, May, and June. But Errol Spence is not featured on there, right? So what exactly is the holdup that's preventing Errol Spence if he's going to fight Keith Thurman or not, or is he going to go in a different direction? We heard it's going to be a catchweight fight with Errol Spence and Keith Thurman, you know, um, where and when I say catch weight, meaning that his belts are not going to be on the line, it's going to be at the legit 154 pound division, but it's going to be essentially quote unquote in a catch weight so that his belts are not on the line, right? Um, and the whole reason that he's fighting and was the proposal for Keith Thurman fight was the fact that the WBC World Boxing Council ordered Errol Spence versus uh Keith Thurman, they pushed Keith Thurman back to the front of the line, made Keith Thurman the number one. A mandatory challenger for Errol Spence's uh, WBC title. And, you know, they're pushing for that fight. And Errol Spence, he just has no interest in fighting Keith Thurman. You know, Keith Thurman essentially gave him the runaround early in his career since he won his first title back in uh, May of 2017. Keith Thurman in March of 2017 beat Danny Garcia in a unification bout. They both with the PBC, Premier Boxing Champion, founding advisor Al Heyman. And it seemed like an easy fight to make for a uni massive unification bout. But Keith Thurman, then he went inactive, right? Uh, we didn't see Keith Thurman from that point all the way up until uh, January of 2019. From March, of, uh, almost two years later is the next time we saw Keith Thurman in the ring. And he fought Josito Lopez. He said it was a get back year. Then he fought Manny Pacquiao in July of 2019. He lost. That's the only loss on his res resume. And then we didn't see Keith Thurman again until February of 2022. He beat um, Mario Barrios, and we have not seen Keith Thurman once again in over a year. And Keith Thurman has not suffered any injuries. So what exactly is the major holdup that's preventing us from getting these fights? Uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a shame because you know um, we missing the prime of Errol Spencer's career and the prime of Keith Thurman's career. Uh, Keith Thurman career, you know, uh, has took a major turn left since he beat um, Danny Garcia. He was once considered the best welterweight in the world, right? Uh, with Errol Spence nipping at his heels, Terrence Crawford at junior welterweight, and Kell Brook was the other welterweight that was considered, you know, um, uh, uh, in his path, right? And um, again, we still have yet to see an announcement. We haven't gotten an announcement. This is... um. You know, uh, it's, it's disappointing to say the least, right? Uh, Errol Spence is a big deal within the sport of boxing. Again, I don't know the severity of his injuries. Is he severely injured? Is the injuries holding it up? Uh, is it the fact that he just don't want to fight Keith Thurman? What is the major sticking point that's preventing us from getting and knowing what's next for Errol Spence? And with Keith Thurman as well, he said he's not injured. He said that he don't wish being inactive on nobody. So 
Why is Keith Thurman not being um, announced? What's the holdup? So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Stacey Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.